know, whatever's going on. It's frequency, producer extraordinaire. You're checking out the mixed with my man Six Cents and Mick Boogie. Go for it. Why does it seem so in mind? Yeah. It's your boy Six Cents. Let's go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. From the moment you come over the bridge, and I'ma show you some shit. Eight million roaming the strip, and I hope you ain't alone in the crib. Yeah, you better believe that. It's where you can seize for the cheddar and cheese at. Put your feet up if you're putting your seat back. Even veterans see that. I hear y'all. Brook Norm, downtown to the west side. Ain't no other place in the world you heard. Let's ride. If you win the whip and roll it down the left side, hold it in your chest, ride, knowing it's the best size. You know oh, yeah, we ride on the train. Every passenger is different, but we grind on the same. So I remind them again every rhyme is a game. Feeling square, but the time is a change. My name is Maurice Fulton. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm Clarissa. I'm from West Virginia. Hey, my name is Mauricio. I am from Bogota, Colombia. My name is Brandon Mathura. I'm from South Ozone Park, New York. My name is Naoki. I'm from Japan, Tokyo. I came to New York a year and a half ago. I got married. My wife works in film, so she came here to work. I was born and raised here, so I've always been here. Um, but I've always wasn't this person of uh, school. I decided after a few years of living in Atlanta that I was going to move back to New York and re-enroll in school so that way I can have a better opportunity for my daughter and just have an overall better lifestyle. And I came here uh, to New York uh, to study. I came here with a student visa uh, to study filmmaking so I, start, I decided to um, go to LaGuardia Community College because it's a two-year school and it's more cheaper to than a four-year school. My parents are originally from Guyana, a country in South America. They came here back in the late 1980s. I was born in 96. I spent most of my life in New York, born and raised here, and I spent a few years down in Florida up until my last year of high school where I came back here. I ended up attending John Adams High School for my last year and then I ended up here at LaGuardia because everybody got my paperwork late. I came, I have lived here for almost four years and I came here to get a second bachelor degree of PR advertising. Uh, I came here alone with a student visa. After next year, I plan to either move to California or if that's not the case, then I'm gonna have to stay here and try to find full-time work. And I hope to go to Brooklyn in the fall. So oh, I'm thinking to transfer uh, to Brooklyn College uh, to finish my uh, degree. After this semester, I'm going to finish uh, this school. So, yeah, I'm thinking of like transferring to another school, but I shouldn't because I already spent a lot of time and money here. When it's all said and done, um, I want to continue my education after getting my associate's degree here. Um, I want to go on to another school to get um, to continue my education to get my bachelor's degree in the same field, which is doing predominantly graphic design and designing overall. Um, uh, my hopes and dreams is to get you know a, a, a nice job with like a, a film production or um, a well-known graphic design company in which I can display my talents and my. Um, you know, my talents and, and things such as that nature to the world. So, Naoki, um, you, like I said, you're from Japan. So, um, yeah. uh, give me your, your thoughts of um, how the school system is compared to, from Japan compared to America. Do you feel like you learn more here or do you feel like you learn either the same or less? I think I, I'm learning a lot of things more than Japan, Japanese university, because I already uh, have a bachelor degree from Japanese university. And then I graduated from a university like by just passing courses. They don't care about GPA. So my GPA in Japan was uh, 2.0 actually. But here I have to work on a lot of things to like get gr uh, better grade mm -hmm. and to pass the Courses because I have to do two pass the uh, two pass courses, mm -hmm. so I think like 
school system or like university or college is much more difficult here than Japanese, Japanese like college. So Brandon, um, I just want to ask you, like, being the fact that you are from here, born and raised, you know, your parents are from, from Guyana and they're from a, a, a total different background. Yeah. And, you know, being, you know, Indian American, you know, most expectations of their children you see is that they're in the medical field. Mm -hmm. So you're into coding and more like in the computer side of things. Yep. How does your how does your parents feel towards you in the, of the field that you're in? Or like, are they okay with it, or did they have different expectations of you? Um. Well, it was it was always the same thing as you know, try to get into a medical uh, uh, school or medical field, whatever, or become a lawyer or something, or even like their probably like their lowest expectation of me was an engineer. Which even then is still like you know like up there yeah. in that field, but um I mean I try I tried doing courses for that when I was get, like specialized courses and stuff for that when I was younger, and none of it really interest interested me. So uh, I used to play a lot of video games when I was younger. Right. Yeah. So what about you, um, Mauricio? We 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 heard from um, Naoki about what he wants to do as far as his final career choice as far as what he wants to put his life into. What about you? What do you want to put your life into? I don't know, I just want to make, make films, to, mm -hmm. to make art, I don't, like... Any particular genre of films? I don't know, I think I want to explore everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to do also documentaries, I want to do narrative, I want to do series, I don't know, I want to be in everything. I want to learn about everything. Mm -hmm. I want to... You want to do the, I'm sorry, you want to do the directing part? You want to do the... Oh, I have to do everything, <laughs> like producing, directing, because I like, like, I really like everything, like, since I, like, 10 mm -hmm. years old, I look, like, the behind the scenes of movies, I obviously love that part, so, mm -hmm. I'm into, like, the pre-production, right. and the production, so everything, and right. also the editing part, I, oh, like, I like everything, so I would like to experiment with everything, and, but I really, like, my ultimate goal, the goal is to be able to work, you know, like, to work in something that you really care and to create something that you really care not just to work for the money or for like for living right. like i know that and actually passionate about it yeah that's my ultimate goal. so what leads me to to ask you this question um you know how does your parents feel about your lifestyle and the career choice that you make do uh, you feel like you're being fully supported i mean I'm 30, so in a way it doesn't matter because I mean I haven't lived at home. I think I moved out when I was like 22, and yeah, I was like, but I've supported yeah. myself. So like you know like that way. No, like my parents are like conservative, mm -hmm. not like super, yeah, I would say conservative Christian. Mm -hmm. Me and my dad like we just don't talk about it, mm -hmm. and I don't really talk about it with my mom either. I think she knows I'm married, but I didn't tell her. Really? Yeah. Cause it's better just to not like. I feel like she needs time. I mean, cause I don't. She's you know like Christian. She goes to church, and I don't feel like any more than she has the right to like push her religion on me. Right. Like I don't have the right, right. to push my lifestyle right. on so her. You can write, but so your you dad can. is Muslim, right? Or, no, well, my dad. You know, once upon you, a time, you know, he was in. He was a five percenter. He was um, you know, really deep into the, you know, Islamic culture. Today he's a Christian. He's a Seven Day Adventist. Okay. Wow. Um, you know, me and my dad, we you know, we, we, we got a we got an okay relationship. We don't have like a really tight relationship, but we okay. So how I am with my dad? Like I know he's there if I would need him, mm -hmm. but we're not like we don't talk much. Right. See, and you know, I have a do I have a child of my own. I have a little daughter. She's she's eight now. You know, and you know, she looks at me at, with with a lot of inspiration to, to set an example. You know, and that was one of my main reasons why I decided to come back to school to pursue, pursue a career in something which I feel that can be inspiring to her or to anyone else who might be looking. Every rhyme is a game, feeling square, but the time is a change. You know why? Cause they cleaned up shit And all you rappers better team up quick Cause we don't need this shit This is for every tenement settlement It's elegant, no one on relevance is our intelligence 
And if I didn't bring my toast, get shot up and end up in the NY post. Nope, your boy's one hell of a NY host, and I ain't even gotta boast, cuz. Take the scenery in, matter of fact, take the greenery in.